A little bit earlier on today, I met up with an old friend for some light breakfast, just in a little coffee shop in the town here. He just had a cup of tea. He was being very good. I had a nice cup of coffee and also a couple of sodas, a couple of sausages, some bacon and plenty of red sauce. We enjoyed that uh, food together. We enjoyed the fellowship together, plenty of chat. And just sitting across on the other side of a little partition in the coffee shop was another old friend from many, many years ago. A young man that I used to work with, uh, 1996, 97, 25, 26 years ago. He was sitting on the other side. He left before us, shook hands and off he went on his way. And then whenever it came time for us to tidy up and to finish our food and to wrap up the conversation, I went up to the till to pay the price for the food. And the kind lady behind the till, she said, the people that were sitting beside you, he came before, he has covered the cost, he has paid the price, and they can't charge you anything. So she was honest and she was just. And that young man was very kind and gracious as well. He didn't know, need to do that. And I thank him for it if he's listening to this. But he was kind and he paid the price for me. And then that we have a lovely illustration of the gospel, don't we? Somebody had gone on before and paid the price for me. You know, as we live in this world without Christ and without a saviour, and we live in our sins, that incurs a great debt before Almighty God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 John chapter 1 verse number 9 indicates that if we confess our sins, He, Almighty God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now if I can't atone or pay for my own sins, how can God be just and righteous and at the same time forgive my sins. It's simply because someone who knew me, somebody who loved me, somebody who cared about me, went before me and paid the price for my sins upon the cross. And that was the Son of God himself. The Bible indicates that he is full of grace, he is full of truth, he is plenteous in mercy, the Son of God became the Son of Man, lived a sinless life, and then went to the cross and offered up that sinless life as an atoning sacrifice for my sins. So whenever I realize that I've sinned against God, a price has to be paid. I go to God. I confess my need. I try to pay the price. I discover that I cannot pay it. I don't have enough credit in heaven. I don't have any righteousness of my own. But I learn that one has gone on before and he has paid the price for me. And because God is a God of justice and because God is a God of truth and God is a God of righteousness, because the debt for my sins has already been paid and now I'm coming to the Father, he is faithful and just because somebody has already paid the price and God is just and he will not demand payment for sins that have already been paid for. This is the wonderful, wonderful truth of the gospel. The Apostle Paul sums it up in this way, Romans chapter 3 and verse number 23, for all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him that believeth on Jesus. Maybe you're listening today and you realize you're a sinner. If you come to God the Father through Jesus Christ the Son, you'll be able to receive this wonderful gift of forgiveness. Realize that the debt of sin was paid by the Savior upon the cross. And you can enter into that wonderful, wonderful blessing and joy of God's salvation. Jesus Christ has paid the price for the sins of his people. And he loved us freely. And God is just and is able to cleanse us and able to forgive us. So I trust that you'll understand the lesson 
that you'll respond to the greatness of God's love, or if you're a Christian struggling with assurance of salvation, recognize that on that cross, the Son of God paid the price in full. May God bless you today. And if that dear man that paid the price for me this morning is listening, thank you so much. See you next time, folks. God bless you. Bye-bye.